Yo, why do you not talk about your... Wait, why do you not talk to your dad, if you don't mind? You talked about how you loved your mom. What's the deal with your dad? Huh? That's a, JP, that's a good question, man. Well, the thing with my dad, he's actually... I, I mentioned before he's a politician, right? There's a lot of stuff like that in Ghana. Um, really reputable over there. Like a big name. Like Oreku? Is that how I say his name or whatever? But um, I don't talk to him because the nigga's busy. <laughs> he's super fucking busy. Considering... Listen, a lot of what you guys see with me... Uh, my dad is that to like level three four five thousand nigga is everywhere always has his hand in something new you can't pin him down man i mean i used to have a little bit of aggression towards him but he's done a lot for me he's helped me out um more than words can describe in the past so it's like there's no aggression there. there's no hostility there used to be now it's like uh i get it dad you're, you're a busy man everybody's busy you know but hey every now and then he checks in on me so that's cool um i wouldn't be where i'm at right now if it wasn't for my dad in so many ways, man. I, I love that man so much. I mean, damn. Like, when it comes to even YouTube, a lot of my um, entrepreneur... Well, I wouldn't say entrepreneur, but, you know, just, like, individualism in terms of, like, having a career and stuff. You know how they say in life, you sometimes need to meet the right person to inspire you. And my dad, uh, all, as well as my uncle and a couple other people, you know, like, my family's got some really great male role models, but my dad was, like... Whoa, like I remember when I first interacted with him and seeing the way he lived and the stuff he did, it was so unlike anything that I had been used to. And since I wasn't on a consistent um, communication basis with him, it was like mind blowing how advanced he was and how like, like he, he was so reputable. And he, he man, you want to talk about clout, man. That, that, that nigga's cloud was through the roof, bro. So, I mean, it inspired me. I was like, wow. And he was talking about, oh, you know, working for yourself was great. You know, like being able to have your own and, and stuff. You know what was crazy to me? I will never, ever forget what I'm about to tell you. And even the day that I leave this world, I will remember this line until my eyes close. My dad said to me this. There was somebody... There was somebody uh, we were talking about, someone, and they were working at this business, right? And they were saying, wow, this, like, they, they, you know, they, they, there's a lot of people, this business is pretty big, you know, and the guy was sitting there and he was saying, yo, man, I'm at this business, hopefully in like five years, I'll be able to be a manager, you know, so I can actually start making some big money. And then my dad said to me, in five years, you want to be a manager, dog, in five years, I want to run the company, fuck. And I was like, what? Like, it doesn't sound that outstanding saying it like that. But as a kid hearing him say that shit, it was like, whoa, mind blow. Like he said all that time there, and you only like dog, go for the scout. Why, why are you why are you aiming for the little go for the go for the heights, bro? And yo, that 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 did it. For me, I I think I was like 14 or something, or 15 or something like that. And it was like bing! <laughs> Nigga set up a bell right there. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot of other role models in my life that I had that were like uncles and other, you know, just really positive guys. And that's a big part of what makes you decide to go for certain things. I mean, I don't mean, I don't mean to sound sit here sounding like Negro Domus or whatever, but I mean if you have the right people who set a good example, like the difference between me and a nigga who's on the street gang banging and shooting niggas and getting killed and all that stuff, the difference between people like that and people who will fall in line, like who do stuff like I do, is that I was able to see the proper, um, the proper, you know, role models in life to be able to like, influence me to know that there is something better that's not just there and inaccessible, but I can obtain it, I can reach it. It's not something that is impossible. That's the problem. Sometimes people see these dudes living life, living rich and having all this stuff here and they feel like, oh yeah, you know, he got lucky or the nigga got a handout or whatever. Or, yeah, I can't reach that. That shit is nothing. Bro, everyone starts from the same position, bro. Anybody can hit that shit, man. All you got to do is be dedicated enough, be focused and bam, grab it. Take it. Take that shit. So yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the thing with my dad, man. So, you know, real busy guy, but he definitely did his job. <laughs> the nigga influenced the fuck out of me.